Hi, Ryan J. Glamourne here. Yes, Dev. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, getting into making online games. So the first thing I want to tell you is it's not scary. It's not that big of a deal. All right. Um, if you if you don't know how to uh, make an online game yet, all you have to do is start. Um, just like that first week of making games ever, you you start you know just by making something that can pass messages back and forth between a client and a server. And um, maybe if you're following a tutorial, you'll make a tic tac toe, and and that's that's really all there is to it. The technical aspects of online multiplayer is just passing messages. But while you shouldn't be scared, there is something very scary with online. Um, not getting started, but um, paying. Even big professional game developing studios are scared shitless of ping. Because ping is like... It's like the speed of light. It's a huge technical limitation that you cannot surpass. Now, how the big professional studios get around ping? You might have heard about them doing fancy stuff with like uh, lag prediction and, and stuff like that. But um, that is not anywhere as important as the other more basic uh, fix for ping that professional companies do, which is throw money at it. <laughs> um, so obviously there's the the technical it's a technical limit of of how far the players are from the server so they spend money on putting servers up everywhere if that's something they they have the money to do and the other probably even more important than putting up servers everywhere is marketing if you have lots of players who want to play the game all the time everywhere um, it won't be hard to, you know, pair up people who are close to each other um, and put them on servers that are, are near to lots of people at once so they aren't trying to play with people on the other side of the earth. If you have enough money and you have enough people playing your game, paying shouldn't be a problem, right? But um, <laughs> that is a huge problem for independent developers, for one maze. So instead... What I would recommend is that you design your games knowing that you are going to have this massive limitation of ping and um, you're probably not going to be able to get around it with money and marketing and all of that. And there are games that do not care how slow the ping is. Back before the internet, uh, uh, something similar to online multiplayer existed. People would uh, mail chess moves to each other to play chess across the world from each other these things existed <laughs> if you place someone on the other side of the earth at chess uh, today it's maybe a second of ping at the most but if you played it back before the internet it would have been a few weeks of ping so is, that's not bad so if you do make a game like chess that has you know turns then you're set there's no way the ping is going to screw you over um if you are going to make uh, real-time games, it doesn't have to be so ping-dependent. Uh, you have to keep in mind that you don't want to make something where every little tiny uh, action matters. Like games with gradient movement, where every every step you make moves you and changes the game state. That's that's kind of that's too much. That's too much grade. But like if you have a game where you click somewhere. On the screen and that moves the character there in like a second you just send that action for where they're going and suddenly it's it's not so bad the movement probably doesn't matter as much when you don't have direct control the game I'm making restricted RPS it's real time everyone's actions get sent out but if you're like a few seconds late it's not that big of a deal because it's not an action game it's a choices game so when you come into online multiplayer, this is something you got to start at game design with. Something I always talk about on YesDev is, you know, scope and understanding your limitations. That's all it is. You're going back to game design. You can't really just take any old game and put it online and expect it to work. Just like if you have a game 
where you wanted intelligent AI and you had to make it for the AI. With this, you, you got to make the game for online multiplayer. Um, other uh, ways to not be so ping dependent is um, like co-op, co-op multiplayer. Uh, people don't really tend to care so much if they're lagging because it isn't versus each other. So if someone's warping around a bit, it's not a big deal. Limiting the amount of players, I guess, would probably help. A 1v1 game is a, is a lot less um, taxing than 20 people. But then again, 20 people in a game that doesn't have gradient anything will be just fine. Um, yeah, mostly just don't be scared. Get in there. You'll have something working within like hours. It's not that hard. And um... Yeah, make something 